I never thought when I got round to doing my very first vlog that it would be coming to you from a toilet. Strange times breed strange deeds and these are strange times indeed. For those that you don't know me, my name's Grant. I'm a professional photographer based on the northwest coast of Tasmania. And like most photographers in the world at the moment, I find myself with a lot of time on my hands, which is why I'm doing this vlog. And guess what? It has absolutely nothing to do with photography. I'm going to show you how to fix a hole. We're going to fix this hole. Working with plaster is always really messy. Um, and the plaster in this house dates back to about 1941. So it's not really that much fun to work with. And um, okay, let's get into squaring it up. Told you it was messy. Okay, now I'm just going to measure it up so I know how big a patch to make. Cool. Welcome to my shed. So this is a repair panel. Um, obviously it's way bigger than what I actually need, um, but it's the smallest that I could find. So what I need to do now is from the measurements that we took up inside the house is mark out a patch that fits the hole. What I've done there is I've marked out two um, and you'll see why when we get back to the hole. There we have our two panels. What I'm going to do now is put a screw in the center of the long one. And that becomes my handle. Okay, so what happens now is I need to put some adhesive on our patch and get it into the hole. What we're going to use is something that's called stud adhesive. It's normally used for gluing the sheets to the studs in a wall. And that's it there. Mmm, yummy blue. Okay, let's get her in. So the screw that I've got there becomes my handle so that I can get it into place. be easier without the braid there but I didn't want to disconnect the water now with that there I can get a screw in I assume you can get a screw out of the packet. Okay. 
that was why the bottom patch was made larger, so there was room to get a screw in there. And we'll just let that go off a bit before I put the final patch in. Okay, now I'm going to put some more adhesive on the smaller patch. And see if we can get her in there. So the reason we had the bigger piece was purely to make some support to put the patch in, otherwise it just falls straight through the hole. So there we have a patch. Once that glue's dried I can take those screws out and then it just becomes a job of filling and tidying things up a bit and adding some paint to match the rest of the wall. All done.